Okay, success secret number three. Always have the end in mind. I call that the intention phase. Now, this is gonna go a little bit woo, but you know, woo's not too bad. So always start with the end in mind. So think about who you wanna be, what you wanna do, where you wanna be, when you wanna be there, and what's your why, and then the how will automatically happen. When I was a woo teacher, I used to have a phrase that Ray and I made up, and that is, uh, forget the how and just allow. So just get out of your own way. If you have no vision, then any path guru or opportunity will do. And then obviously you go on the wrong track and it's a bit of a detour and procrastination and professional procrastination. And you go, I don't know why nothing's working. Well, because you don't know what you actually want. So you're just floundering. Certainty beats the shiny object syndrome. And when I talk about certainty, I'm talking about being certain. So you need to be certain of what you want in life. Ever since I started copywriting, I wanted to be an A-list copywriter. That's it. So my career trajectory is on that path and I've never strayed from it, ever. Even when I got bad mentors and fugly mentors, I just readjusted and got that sorted out and got back on track. Um, and it, all this gives you, when you have the end in mind, it gives you the help or hinder um, filter. And all that is, is when an opportunity comes along or a mentor comes along or an offer comes along, you just weigh it up with two, two sides. Will this help my case or will this hinder my case? Will this help my future? Will it hinder my future? That's all you have to think about. And if you can't answer um, that it's going to help you, then don't do it. Just simple as that. <laughs>